friends see this is 125 mm thick brick work is being done for this work what materials are being used see here these are bricks first class bricks oil burnt sharp edged and water soaked this is medium sand free from dust dirt and from any foreign materials this is ordinary portland cement 50 kg packed bag this is cement sand mixed dry mortar water to be added now this is wet mortar sand cement mixed wet mortar water has been mixed with the dry mortar and it is prepared for brick work now see this man is doing brick work but some defects are there in the brick work see the points brick work should always be done standing outside the wall so that the mason can completely fill up and finish the brick joints properly with the mortar otherwise there will be high possibility for soaking rain water even up to inside of the wall though there is plaster at the outside so it should be always from outside but for convenience he is doing it from inside because this parapet wall is at the fifth floor of the building so it should never be at inside also every joint is open no joints has been finished by packing mortar so it should not be like this another difficult defect is there uh, at different interval of the wall there is provision of small rcc column but they have not casted the column separately what they will do after completion of brick work they will put shuttering at both side and uh, it will be filled up by the concrete it is highly objectionable because they will develop differential contraction and expansion resulting cracking of the brick work or concrete work because the different because the uh, coefficient of expansion and contraction of brick and rcc is separate one more defect is there see the thickness of the mortar at horizontal and vertical joints are not even somewhere it is thick somewhere it is thin but it should be 12 mm thick only at horizontal and vertical joint both so friends thank you for watching this video please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon all for more updates